Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the organised chaos that is my high speed trains project. As you can tell, there's quite a lot going on. So, I'm going to try to break it down a little with this video. If you're a subscriber and you've watched some or all of the last, I don't know, half a dozen videos, then you'll know what this is all about. If you're new here, then I'll briefly explain that the idea is I want to build a high quality, high speed train in model form using a Hornby Junior toy train as the framework. There's one unit here and if I bring this over uh, there's another unit there that's undergoing a major work on a new front end. Now the ends are covered over because they are for another video and that's what this is about. I've got a lot going on all at the same time and the reason is that everything requires a lot of thought, planning and trials so the front end work is going on. You'll see down here that uh, I'm cutting up the undercarriage. Over here you'll see that I have an ETR 400 in pieces. The motor of which is here that is going into there up here you'll see this kind of blob which if you look is a mold and there's a cast under there I've learnt from YouTube that using um, vegetable oil as an isolating membrane you can create a positive with milliput cover the positive with vegetable oil and then use milliput again to make a cast now I'll just briefly explain what's going on with this I want to add some roof detail. In my opinion, one of the best features of a high speed train is some good roof detail. So that's what's going on here. It's a grand experiment. If I can pull it off, I'll be very happy. But I'm making the unit to go on top of the passenger car. I need to make the same kind of unit to go on to the driving unit. So imagine something like this going on. That requires two of those. And then of course I need to do the same thing at the other end of the train. So I need four of these things as a minimum. If I'm going to run a long train I may add another two somewhere in the middle which would mean six so rather than make or at least try to make six of those things all the same the idea is to make one make a cast and then I can make as many as I like and put them where I like. That's the idea and 
now I'm getting used to this concept I can use that technique again to mass produce the pieces that I need right now the, the, the secret Alstom have just introduced their first hydrogen powered train it's called the Caradia Eyelint I believe got some videos have a look on YouTube for the Caradia Eyelint or just Alstom hydrogen powered train it's really really good machine and it is a sign of things to come so given the choice of rebuilding the pantograph on the uh, on the, the conversion or coming up with something new I decided to come up with something new that's if I can do it so the idea is that the new conversion will be hydrogen powered at least a model of a hydrogen powered train as far as I'm aware there are no hydrogen powered representations in model form uh, on the railways at the moment so maybe this is a first if it is that would be great the caveat if I can do it so I need to model the, the roof detail and come up with this is the frame or the kind of aerodynamic section the actual workings will will be inside that and I'll use the same thing if I can build one of the units then I can mass produce them multiple times onto the machine and then that will give me a hydrogen powered train in model form I have also here some metal wheels insulated metal wheels and a box of pieces so just going back somewhat the idea originally was to get the Hornby Junior and see if I could make it a little bit better two things that I didn't realize when I saw the review and ordered a set first I didn't know that it was HO scale the second thing is that mechanically it's absolutely useless and these don't run on layouts a Hornby Junior will not run on a layout because it has this fixed axle it has a, a, an axle that does not articulate what that means is that it will not run over points it can't it's impossible to run this over points so stick around while I explain to you a little more of the mechanical or let's say the engineering problems with regards to this so I'll show you on the driving unit this is a fixed axle has quite a lot of tolerance it moves side to side freely but does not articulate so what you've got here is the this part of the bogey is not actually attached it just moves side to side and these wheels have been made wider in order to facilitate that movement or well make it possible now this is a problem and because it means that the whole of the truck or the bogey has to sit below the body line of the undercarriage in order to move it can't be uh, fixed up higher where it should be and I've made measurements here the Hornby is 25 millimeters on the inside 
and a standard HO truck or bogey is 21 millimeters so that means this one is four millimeters larger and as a consequence all the units have to sit up really quite high they all do that and I have to change that to be the same as that in order to make this work because I must have this articulated where are we the the motor is going to go into there and I need the front bogey to be the same width therefore I can sit that at the same depth so in conclusion then there will be individual videos about the fitting of the motor I will be showing you how I build a jig to convert these because remember I can't just cut and glue together that won't work if I do that lazily then I'll have a a limp in every one of them and I'll have a train that goes like this and that will be ridiculous so this has to be done very carefully I'll be building a jig to accurately measure cut and re-weld them together because I have lots to do so there's that that will be a video there will be a video about this and all of the roof detail there will be a video about the front end and all of the other experiments and trials that I'll need to do to make this thing work now this really now is hardly anything like the Hornby Junior by the time I've cut the chassis out and put in a new motor rebuilt the front end added the model of the hydrogen power and a new spray it's going to be nothing like a Hornby Junior so I've just used the Hornby Junior the bare bones as a framework really uh, to that end I'm going to stop calling this the Hornby Junior I'm just going to call this my high speed train project because it kind of incorporates the Junior the Lima the LE Toys um, 400 using KD wheels so it's a mix and a mash it's just a high speed train project so now I know it has limited appeal but if you do want to follow me then I hope you'll enjoy this and I hope I can produce something that's good at the end of it to make it worthwhile your time watching these videos so thank you for watching hope to see you all again soon in the meantime all the best.